Welcome to the Hollow Grind. Welcome all. This one has been a long-awaited model that is definitely one of the most awesome Microtechs ever made. Up on the table today is the Scarab 2. Oh yeah, a pocket full of badass is coming up. Let's jump right into it. The Microtech Scarab 2 picks up where all you original Scarab owners were left hanging. As awesome as the first ones were, a lot of people really hoped a larger version would have been available. I must say that this one has really impressed me. It's a full-size knife that is nice and wide, made of a thicker blade stock that looks like it can handle anything. It fits large hands very well, and the grippy texture on the chassis really sticks to your hands. Just like the Navy Scarabs, this model also has the fluted channels on the flats of the blade, as well as a ported chassis that, you guessed it, can even fire underwater. Though in practical terms, this will ensure that any debris will be blown out for a reliable deployment every time. This one will give my favorite a run for top dog without a doubt. We'll compare these and the original later in the vid. The overall length is just over nine and a half inches long. The blade is three and three quarter inches long. The steel is M390 and the chassis is high grade aluminum with tactile grip inserts. The beautiful drop point blade grind features fluted channels. The blade spine has a recessed channel. The textured and ramp deployment button grabs your fingertip with authority. A scarab is featured on the pocket clip. The chassis also features porting as well as a ramped glass breaker with ball insert. Here is the Scarab 2 side by side with the original Scarab model. The Scarab 2 blade is bigger and beefier. Notice the blade stock is much thicker on the Model 2. bigger glass breaker on the tail end as well. Here is a comparison of the Scarabs next to a combat Trodon. The two is the largest of the bunch. It's pocket time. This blade is beastly in the most wonderful ways. It has some good weight to it and it rides very balanced clip to your pocket. However, they place the button just right and it's very easy to deploy. As with most large Microtech OTFs, the balance between the blade and chassis is spot on and not tip heavy. This one will give you an extra thrill when the blade flies out. I've said many times before how much I love the combat Trodons but try one of these and you'll have to reconsider. That's it, my friends. Thanks for joining us again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join us on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to use your Save10 discount code for a discount on most items during checkout on our website. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.